I want to have a quick look now at two limits of lens behavior. These are focusing and collimating. Focusing first. So for focusing to a point, we're going to think of light coming from some distant object like a star. So the object distance is basically well approximated by something close to infinity. In this case, 1 divided by the object distance, we can ignore, this goes to 0, and so we get that the focal length must be equal to the image distance. So light coming in here from a distant object at some angle theta gets focused to a point at the focal length of the lens. So the focusing point here is at f, i is equal to f. The distance from the optical axis at which this focusing occurs is h dashed, so that's how far off the center of the axis of the optical axis you are. We can find h dashed by constructing a triangle with h dashed and f and then this angle theta so that tan theta is equal to h dashed on f. Or well, for small angles, theta is approximately equal to h dashed on f. Now, if the object is at infinity, basically what we're saying is all these rays are parallel because if the object's a long, long way away, then by the time you reach this lens, the rays of the richest lens are all traveled in roughly the same direction or very close to the same direction. So this means the light coming to this lens is, you know, you can basically think of this as plane waves arriving at the lens. So if these, these rays are all traveling in this direction, these lines represent the direction of travel of the waves. We can imagine lines of equal phase across these rays here. Now this is a pretty useful approximation, as I've said, for something like starlight, where you know, stars are light years away and the small fraction of light that hits this lens is all traveling in the same direction. And we can think of it as plane waves. The opposite of focusing would be collimating. So it's the same process, but now it's running in reverse. So we're starting here with an object, and the object is placed exactly at the focal length of the lens. So now light leaving a point at distance h from the optical axis, leaving a point here towards our lens, will then be collimators on the other side, so that now all of the rays are parallel on the other side, and we're generating essentially plane waves on the other side of the lens. So the rays are all parallel. So in the equation, it looks like this, that the object distance is equal to f, and so if we have a 1 on f here and a 1 on f here, it means that 1 on i must be equal to 0, so the image distance here tends towards infinity. And the angle theta, we get from the same construction as last time, with a triangle with f and in this case h, so tan theta is equal to h on f, or for small angles theta is approximately equal to h on f. So this would be useful for making something like a searchlight in a helicopter where you put the light bulb here and the lens at the focal length and then the light that comes out will be collimated and good for searching for lost bushwalkers for example.